Hey, hey, what's going on everybody? Dave back again and today we're going to be going over the HWS add-on kit uh, which is exclusive through Bandai um, for the new Verka. <clears throat> I want to thank uh, Jaime again. Uh, he's one of my subscribers for sending this to me to um, build up, review, and then add to my collection. Um, he is somewhere in the frozen east wastelands, I believe. Um, so thank you again, dude. I appreciate it. It actually means a lot. Um, so after uploading the vids that I did last night, uh, I thought I would end up just putting this together, getting this done, because I know he would um, to see my review on it and my thoughts. So um, I did do some panel lining on here with the new panel line sets that I got um, just to make some details pop. Uh, Again, I, I love these things. Now, I do have to say, after using these, um, the the gray actually seems to flow better um, than the black. But one of the um, things that I do want to say, using that, just not to get off track here, but um, is definitely uh, let them dry before uh, before doing them. Uh, or before trying to clean them up, otherwise you will get a big smear factor. Um, again, awesome stuff, guys. Uh, I had a bunch of people on Facebook uh, ask me about it. Got on Amazon was, I think, $32 prime shipped for the three-pack. That was for the brown, the black, and the gray. Um, so, and I'm going to find something. Uh, one of the guys on, uh, I think, the GG Infinite. Um, Paige asked me to do a, for a brown, uh, something with a brown, so I might do that later tonight. So anyway, getting on to this, a um, couple things I want to get out of the way, semi-quick, is uh, definitely if you have the um, the high new, don't throw away your extra, your extra pieces and stuff. Stick them in a little baggie um, because you never know when you'll end up needing them. Uh, in, for instance, um, doing the shield, I needed the extra um, number 10 PC joint, um, which was still on the runner on the original master grade. Now, what I think I did, and I don't know where it is, is there's uh, another part that was on one of the runners that attaches to the arms or the back, I believe, or the backpack for attaching the shield. Um, I don't know that I still have that. So learn from my mistake. Don't throw away any of your parts. I do have a parts bin that I throw all my loose parts in. It's probably in there because I don't throw anything away. Like, ever. Uh, ask my wife. I don't throw anything away. I even hoard boxes. You never know. Anyway, so um, I'm getting that out of the way because if you built one for the high new, you've already built this. Another one, the bazooka. Same thing that came with um, the, the high new. Nothing different. Same thing. We'll get that out of the way. We'll go. I'll go over the actual review of this when I do the high new. Now, one of the things I do want to go over is this bad boy. Um, now, I think I think looking over there, it's exactly like um, the one that comes with um, the high new, but you get these added attachments. Now keep in mind um, when you do, let me zoom you guys in a little bit. Boop, boop, boop. Um, it, when you do paint this, make sure and um, uh, securely gloss coat it or flat coat it however you want, some kind of protective layer because if you're sliding the pieces in and out like they're supposed to be, um, you will get some scraping. I just want to pre-warn you that ahead of time. So, you get this piece, and these don't pivot or anything. Um, it's kind of a shame, but, you know, but, so this will slide in like so. You get this back piece here, and you can see a lot of details. You can see it's kind of sloppy there too, but a um, ton of details. And this one is going to hopefully behave. Get in there. 
Oh, it would help if I was doing it right. Meh. Get in there. There we go. So that's going to go on like so. And then you've got this portion up here, which will snap down into place. And very cool Mega Launcher. I don't know if that's what it is, but that's what it looks like to me. And that's what I'm calling it Mega Launcher. You guys say it that way too Mega Launcher. Um, so, uh, very cool on that, very sizable. Um, you know, one of the things I didn't know uh, until I built this is I believe, looking at the instructions, um, these get added on top of the um, the leg pieces that are on there. There's one for the right and one for the left. Um, and if that is the case, then that's kind of cool because I hated to see um, see those go. So we'll try and get this to. So these open up like so. Lots of detail on the inside there. So these just snap on to the legs. And uh, also keep in mind, guys, I might end up having to do another um, high new because I have the conversion set. And I don't know if I can't tell on my monitor if these are coming up, but these are purple. They're like a royal purple. So you do end up getting these. <clears throat> you get the front skirt replacements. They just snap in place where the others come off. They have these that fold down. Mechanical arms. You can stick your beam sabers on there. Reminds me a lot of the O. Um, how its mechanical arms are. So you get those. You get um, the chest piece here. Again, sloppy wash, but it was just to show you guys details. Um, and this will slide over. There's a piece that gets removed off of the front of um, the high new, and then this slides right on. It also, this side was really sticky. It doesn't like doing it. This side worked fine. So these slide out and then up. And then you have um, the uh, pods in there. But these, they're just on a track. See, that's exactly what happens. It doesn't want to slide out properly. Um, one of the things I noticed with this versus the kit, all these parts are super tight, like super, super tight. You wouldn't believe it. Um, now, some of the things that to look forward uh, that I'm going to make as far as mods are clean, cleaning these up and filling those in. Um, because that can be filled in, that little slot there can be filled in so that you don't see them at all. And that's what I plan on doing. Uh, you do have these vents down here. I don't know what I'm going to end up doing with those. And then for this. Um, now this will snap onto the shield. Um, it is kind of a pain to get on and off, but it will snap on the shield like so, so it can go onto the arm. Uh, this one's bigger. Um, I prefer the look of it on the backpack myself. And it is pretty secure in there. Get out. Get out. Okay. So this is the back side. You do have this panel here that um, is somewhat posable. And you get these um, side pieces here. Uh, again, I don't know if this shows up, but it is purple. It's a royal purple. So... We'll pivot these down, and you can pose these. But there's arm here. And mounted on the back, you can have it like this, and then have both of the bazookas mounted on there, like so. Um, you do get some posability in here. You get 
like so and then these I don't know that I like them but they do slide in and out now I didn't panel line anything on here so very cool stuff on for that stuff I I actually prefer and I think I'll leave it on the back like this um, with the super thrusters all right guys so I hope you enjoyed that um, it'll be a better overview and everything once I get um, the review done on the the high new and then I add these things on so stay tuned for that uh, I don't know what else I'm gonna be posting up this weekend but uh, everyone uh, stay safe uh, keep the heaters on if you're back east and uh, I will talk to you guys all later everyone have a great night peace out